Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more FTL, this time uh, something different. Because uh, we have not had a really good success, we've made it further in each attempt, but I'm still looking for a victory in this series. So we're going to try out something a little bit different today. I've never actually played around with this craft, and so it is time for us to do so for the whole internet to see. So either way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play with our very super stealthy Anastasio. I think that's what it says. And so we start with some long range scanners and some extra bonus 15% uh, chance to negate damage when hit. Uh, that is very cool. It gives our uh, subsystems a little bit more redundancy. We start with the dual laser as well as a nice little mini beam. I think this will be something a bit different. Not to mention we start with a very solid amount of dodge chance with some powerful en engines. So uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. Still playing on normal because I refuse to go down to easy after uh, such a defeat. We're going to stay where we are. All right, so the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need to supply. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing fleet can catch up. All right, tips are bombs to port can teleport directly on yes that is correct i'm not really too bothered by that uh, so let's go ahead and go so starting off with uh 10 scrap and oh my goodness i did not realize this we have zero shielding oh boy oh boy oh boy we <laughs> okay i'm beginning to see uh the challenge here okay well then uh let's jump into a combat because we're going to need it to see just how well we can do all right uh let's see once we arrive your screen lights up with warning N a nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack okay so uh let's just see we have someone on engines we have someone on weapons and we have our pilot so let's go ahead and turn on our weapons. It turns out we are not going to get to make the most of our dodge. Very disappointed about that. Uh, we don't have someone... Oh, wait a second. Uh, I thought we should have had this currently manned. I think we do. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. All right. Well, either way, uh, let's go ahead and dodge their damage right away. Let's go ahead and... Do we use a cloak? Yeah, I think we do. We're going to use this as uh, liberally as possible. We're going to try and do everything we can to stay alive. They have a defense drone, so uh, that would not help us. Well, not hinder us either. So let's wait for the dual lasers to come up and the mini beam. Let's go ahead and take down their shields. Dippity bop. And that looks good. Let's go ahead and do a mini beam. We can even go ahead and see you. Could we fit? Could we hit all Oops, uh, let's see if we can pull this over just perfectly for where we can oh no we can only hit three or oh, maybe four hang on a second let's go one more time we're going to try and finagle this as best as we can and it appears that ain't going to happen all right well then i guess three rooms will have to be enough take out the shields take out some of their weapons all right, damage is bad. Let's quickly race a friend out over there to help get rid of that fire. Okay, at least I don't have any shields. Oh, we're taking damage as well. That ain't good. Uh, the dual lasers are out. That sucks, but we have our mini beams. So let's go ahead and keep their, well, their weapons down as far as possible. Uh, yeah, the shields shouldn't regen. Let's get you, my friend. Wait, who is our weapons guy? Uh, Johnson, yes. Let's go ahead and uh, send you back to weapons. Hopefully that helps. Okay, we kept their shields down. We just need a little bit of extra time. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's hit that cloak button. Make sure that their stuff doesn't get to come back online. Alright, come on. Come on, we need to get this power back into our weapons if we're going to succeed. There we go, okay. Yeah, this is not ideal. Oh, we didn't take damage that time, so at least our lasers are still up and running. Um, hmm. It's a little tricky. 
We're about to get hit. Oh, and we lost both of our weapons. Okay, we're in major danger already. This is so very, very bad. Uh, let's send both of you over here. We're going to, in fact, you know what? Stuff that we're going to get everybody to go there. Uh, we hit save button. Does that? No, that's not going to do anything. All right. Let's get everybody fighting this. We're going to need some serious health. We're having a really rough start. Oh, and I think we're about to get shredded yet again. Yeah, we definitely should have uh, switched our weapons around. Okay, this is not ideal. It does look like we're about to get toasted. Um, are they about to fire? When they fire, we'll cloak. All right, come on. Dodge, dodge, dodge. All right, uh, let's also go ahead and ventilate. Oh, this is one egg. Except for oxygen, and then we have these. Okay, let's get all of that sorted. Uh, yeah, this is going to be very, very awkward. Let's see if we can re return crew to positions. No? I think this might be a very fast run. In fact, uh, yeah, Johnston, you stay there. Felicity, I guess, will send you down here, and then Mort, you can pilot things as best as we can come on we just need any amount of any amount of survivability here uh dual lasers let's fire it up and take out their shields excellent oh we even managed to hit their drone that's cool i don't think i've ever seen that before yep and i think we're about to get cooked uh let's vent the oxygen there uh, you know what, right now, I think we care more about having oxygen on a line than extra weapon charge. Come on. Shields. First one hits. Mini beam. Let's follow this up as much as we can. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll be enough to get the kill. Oh, thank goodness that that's over and done with. All right, so... This is not an easy task for us to deal with. We're not doing well at all. Yeah, the fact that they immediately destroyed our engines, that's really cruel. All right, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and take two seconds. We're going to spend as much time as it takes to get the oxygen up and running. Uh, let's open all internal doors. Yeah, there we go. Try and uh, ventilate that a little bit. Let's get everybody into the healing bay. Yeah, we need, we need to have some success here. And we definitely need a whole stack of healing. The fact we didn't lose anybody in that one is absolutely absurdity. I genuinely thought we were going to lose some crew member right at the very beginning. Yeah, the fact that we lost almost two thirds of our health in the first fight, that is just such a painful experience. All right, Johnston, uh, Johnson, you go over there. Felicity, you can go here, and Mort, you can go ahead and take the helm. Go ahead and save our crew's position, that should be fine. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the next chaotic mess of whatever's coming up. Uh, an asteroid field, you know what, that sounds really bad. Maybe we can jump out fairly quickly, you do have pretty solid engines. I'll have another... You know what, let's just move across here and we'll take one step at a time. Definitely need to come up with something. Alright, mercenaries to scout the sector, fight the ship, or whatever else. You know what? They have a beam, we don't have shields, they have weapons. <laughs> okay, um... You know what? Let's scout the sector for them. Uh, or well, from them, that would be good. Let's see what they reveal to us. Okay, there's a store, there's some fights. I think we'll go ahead and we'll try and take this one. Bounce there, maybe make our way. Maybe make our way around? I don't know. It's gonna be a tricky one, but we need to regain some scrap. I think this could be very dangerous, but it's so early. Who knows? All right, they were hiding around here, believe it or not. Yep, defense drone, let's go ahead and uh, Let's go ahead and dodge for a little bit. Okay, get some piloting evasion. Oh, their defense drone's taking out things. Okay, that's really 
well played, but I dislike it immensely. Dual lasers, go straight to the shielding. Now that that's down, let's go to the mini beam, and I think we'll go ahead and... A little bit of a bippity boppity boo. We'll take out their drone system. We'll take out their engines of oxygen and a little bit of weapons. That seems pretty good to me. All right, they offer you cargo if you let them live. Honestly, we need a whole stack more than nine. Nah, we will not surrender. Uh, damage isn't ideal, but we don't have a choice. We're going to have to tank this if we're going to have a chance of surviving. Let's go ahead and make sure those shields do not go any further. Yeah, let's make sure that they stay down and they don't succeed. Let's go with the mini beam and we will slice through their bridge. And that's it. Okay, fantastic. All right, 19 is scrap. That is what we are after. Let's wait till our FDL goes up and let's bail before things get worse. On to the next spot. In fact, I think what we're going to end up having to do is uh, rotate around the top here. Yeah, take these fights and uh, as much as the saw could be useful, I'm not sure we're going to have the scrap necessary. All right, you detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small reef fueling. Let's go ahead and intervene. We need to make progress. We need, we need stuff. So it's just going to be what it is. Let's hit that cloak. Let's put that drone out of commission for a second. Uh, we'll go dual lasers and mini beam. Come on. Uh, let's go for the drone system so they can't do continual damage. And then I think we'll use the mini beam to follow where we can then guarantee everything goes down. And I think that that's going to save our bacon. Yeah. Okay. We have effectively neutered them. We're not going to take any more damage at this rate. Unless they've got some way to heal, which I'm not aware of, we should be safe. Uh, let's go ahead and work on those shields. Now that they're taken care of, let's take aim at the rest. There we go. All right. And let's finish this silly little robot off. Okay, fantastic. At least something's gone a little bit better. All right, ship breaks apart. We gain eight. And, oh, the outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed and stopped by those scouts. Take this on the house. An anti-personnel drone, three fuel, 14 scrap. That is remarkably nice. Uh, let's get our weapons guy to work and uh, fix up our doors. He's going to be working with our weapons and we're going to take many hits. We need him to have good repair skills. So yeah, we definitely want to make sure that that's done. Let's uh, we can uh, send them back. Nobody's hurt. We have 43 scrap. I think we need to upgrade immediately. Uh, I'm thinking extra cloaking would be very good. Yeah, extra cloaking is going to be the first thing we do. We can't afford much else. Um, actually, hold on a second. We could technically go for a bit more dodge. But you know what? Having a full amount of uh, cloaking to charge and to repair while things are going wrong, I think that's going to be better for us. Let's accept that. We'll see how that goes. And yeah, let's jump into that next sector, uh, that next uh, spot. You know what? Actually, we might even be able to reach that store potentially. If we go here, would that be one? That'd be two? That'd be three? One, two, yeah, still the same amount of fights. But this is, I guess, extra time for events to happen and maybe something good. We'll give it a shot. The rebels in the system are doing supply runs for the local space stations. These civilians have likely been out of supply for months due to the war and are in desperate need. Uh, steal supplies from the civilians? Leave them be or attack the rebels? Ooh. Um... I don't know. The rebels are normally pretty strong early on, so I'm not sure we necessarily want to do that. Let's wait and steal from the civilians. Yeah, okay. The colonists hand over the supplies and you load it onto your ship. As you jump away, you crack it open to discover nothing more than vaccinations for local plague. Ah, darn. Okay, we are bad guys. Well, that's not good. Ah, well, it was... There was a chance that we could have got something decent there. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's see. The ship at the other end of the beacon. Finally, after months of waiting, waiting, someone has fallen into our trap. Okay, well, I guess we're going to 
get started. Let's go ahead and cloak, or do we wait for their first shots to fire? You know what? Let's wait for their first shots to fire. It gives our weapons a little bit of extra time to charge. All right. Um, do we just dodge straight away? I think we do. All right. Both of them missed. Thank goodness. Um, oxygen's still fairly low. You know what? Let's just go ahead and uh, fire off our shots. Let's work on their shields. First hit. Let's go ahead and then work on... Yeah, we need to cut down their ability to do damage to us. Uh, you know what? Actually, I see a pretty good opportunity right here. Let's go for their weapons, engines, and shields. In fact, uh, if we're going to go for the shields, let's start there first and make sure that they cannot re, uh, recharge in time. Yeah, that seems better. And we still take out what we need to take out. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and get those lasers up and running. Let's focus on their weaponry. Yeah, playing a defensive game here is going to be highly crucial. Yep, there we go. Okay, all their weapons out of commission. Let's go ahead and use that mini beam. Let's follow up on the shields, oxygen, and their bridge. And that should be a destruction. All right. 15 scrap. That'll do. That will do. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Uh, what do we do? I guess we can't actually afford that much from this point. No. All right, well, we'll hold on to the scrap. Let's go to the next fight. All right, and we do only have 63% oxygen. We probably should have let that recharge, but oh well, we are where we are. All right, something red looms. It's the Mantis. All right then, well, they're gonna try and jump on board ASAP. That does not sound good. Let's go ahead and start our cloaking. Um, yeah, we'll try and take out their stuff as quick as we can. I don't know if both of our weapons will be charged fast enough to take out their teleporter. Nope. All right, well, it is what it is. Let's go for their... Hmm. I think their weaponry is going to probably be the most important thing. Yeah, defensive play is going to be the important thing. Oh, and they dodged both shots. That is terrible. All right. Quickly, uh, let's run Johnston over there to fight that Mantis. Uh, we need to give some help there. Let's also go ahead and, you know what? We'll wait for their first salvo to dodge, and then we're going to need to put some energy into our oxygen. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll see what we can do. All right, uh, let's go. Dual lasers, uh, weapons, mini beam. Let's go from... Oh, could we actually make that work? minibeam let's go from that very corner yeah that's four damage right there that'll do good amounts of work all right we might even kill off their fellow because he can't teleport back home excellent okay return to battle stations please and a thank you and they've only got one weapon left yeah, okay if we can dodge this yep there we go hey there we are okay we are sorted we'll have a full salvo ready Let's go ahead and dual lasers against their shielding. First one hits, and then let's just burn through the last couple of our rooms. There we go. Oh, this is dangerous. All right, ship explodes, leaving 16 scrap behind. Let's quickly send power to the oxygen. We need some of that right about now. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we get our medical bay healed up. Uh, our pilot seems to be the only one in good health. I guess that's something. Uh, let's also save a power from our engines right now and we'll put that towards healing. We're going to need that for a second. All right, pop that there. We'll pop you over here. Uh, let's send you to the next room and start working on that as well. Yeah. All right. Felicity, you seem nice and healthy now. Let's send you back over there. And Johnson. There we go, you have fixed that up. So let's make sure that you get healed. Everybody back to battle stations. And let's go ahead and put that power right back towards our cloaking. And I think we'll just wait for a quick second to make sure that that goes up again. Uh, we do, oh wait, I think technically the next thing we could go to is a store. 
That'll give us some healing. That could be really, really nice. Uh, it may not as well. Well, actually, no. Stores always have healing, but uh, that might be very important for us. The question is, though, could we take one more fight? We jump to here, that'll take them to there. Then we jump to here, that'll take them to about there. Uh, I feel like we might be in a little bit of danger for trying to get to the store if we try and squeeze out an extra jump. So, you know what? We're just going to go straight to the store, I dare say. Yeah, I think that's going to be our uh, best bet. We need to get some healing. All right, transmission from the nearby planet indicates outpost Volho, which offers supplies to travelers. Set down and away party to check it out. All right, she was 125. Oh my goodness, that is something we so desperately desire. Beautiful, uh, yeah, drone recovery, yeah, automated reloader, shield charge boosters. This is a fantastic role, but unfortunately we have just been absolutely obliterated in this run. Uh, we'll sell the anti-personnel drone. We need as much money as possible. I'm really upset that we can't afford that. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, we will take as many repairs as possible. Uh, do we spend the final three? Honestly, I think we don't. Uh, if it's three damage that's going to win or lose us in the next battle, uh, that's probably nothing we can change. But having that extra 10 scrap might buy us a subsystem. So we will call that one there. Yeah, that'll have to do. And again, nothing else we can sell, which really sucks. And we really can't afford to get rid of these things. We'll have to close that. Let's go ahead and jump down to the exit. Yep, certainly not enough time to have uh, gone through with any other plan. So let's go. All right, you've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. Where the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. All right, well, we have cloaking. That would be good. Uh, access the cache. Do we just attack it? You know what? We could probably attack this thing pretty well. We've got cloaking. It's got no shields. Yeah, I need the scrap. We're going to go ahead and attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. That's fine by me. Let's go ahead and dive right on into the cloaking. There we go. Make that impossible for them to do any damage. We'll go ahead and target their weapons right away. Make sure that they have nowhere to go. Dual lasers. Mini. Uh, let's see. There we go. Excellent. No more weapons. Let's go ahead and target the bridge. And that'll be all that we need. There we go. A swift and a decisive victory. Hip hip huzzah. Oh, salvage what you can from the broken ship. That is 16 scrap. Thank you very much. The drone station was apparently... Oh, sorry. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functioning schematic. Sweet. Well, we will sell that at our earliest convenience. So, let's go ahead and jump to the next sector. And we will pick... Ooh. Uncharted or pirate controlled... Sadly, I think the Pirates is going to be the most important direction to head in, simply because that Uncharted Nebula could have asteroids and sort of things. And we have no shields still, so let's go ahead and we'll jump over there. So if you do want to see more, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out.